When you think of a lifeguard, you might conjure up images of David Hasselhoff and Pamela Anderson in Baywatch, or a teenager working their first summer job. But a new life-saving device could change that. Meet Emily, which stands for Emergency Integrated Life-Saving Lanyard. Basically what Emily is is a, a remote-controlled uh, flotation device uh, similar to a jet ski but in a much smaller version. It's, uh, it's powered by thrust uh, from the water shooting through the internal jet. It's remote control. Uh, it'll go at speeds of approximately 20 miles an hour. The small watercraft is fitted with a flotation device and it can get to people in distress much quicker than a human. It can't bring swimmers back to shore, but it can keep them safe until rescuers get there. Um, if you have multiple victims in distress, they can hold on to Emily until you can send a swimmer out. Or if you have a rope attached to Emily, they can hold on, you know, multiple people can hold on and you can pull them all back to shore safely. Emily is now being used by a handful of communities around the country. Last month, it was used in its first rescue in Oregon. Emily will run about 15 minutes on a uh, fully charged battery. Goes out in uh, just about any conditions. It can get over, uh, you know, decent-sized waves and heavy surf uh, to get out to the victim in distress. The small watercraft costs around ten thousand dollars. Emily does not replace a lifeguard or first responder. Someone must be on shore to operate Emily, and lifeguards have skills that Emily can't replicate. It also can't be used if a swimmer is unconscious. But lifeguards say it's a useful tool when there's an emergency. Bianca Davy, Associated Press.